Good day, my fellow football manager fanatics, and welcome to episode 8. I think it's episode 8. Let me just check a second. Yes, it is indeed episode 8 of Unfinished Business. This Football Manager 2011 series with Chelmsford City. And today, we're playing the second knockout round of the Euro Cup, the Europa League, the UEFA Cup, whatever you want to call it. We're taking on CSKA Moscow, who have a pretty good team. I don't know if they've got the legend that is Akinfeyev. I don't think they have it. They must have sold him. Although he'd be getting on a bit now, actually. He's probably retired. It's 2022, 23, I keep forgetting. There's Igor Akinfeyev. He's only he's 36 years old in this, but it shows how young he was when he was just sensational talent on the old games. 154 caps for Russia, playing for AC Milan. Anyway, they don't have him, so that's that's a good thing in my books. Since the last episode then, where we managed to get through the first knockout round, we've only played three games, two of which were 0-0 draws. We just, we're pretty solid defensively. Look, five clean sheets in a row, as you can see there. We haven't lost a single game since the Reading defeat on the 14th of January. But there's just way too many draws. 0-0 draw against Blackburn, not much to talk about in that game. Boring game. Then a good 2-0 win in the second... Uh, in the fifth round of the FA Cup, sorry, in a replay. Vincent Grot with the opening goal, and then Facundo Perez, the guy I sent from Real Madrid as a replacement for Bindiwold, one of the replacements, I got his first goal for the club. So, positive signs, scoring against the Premier League team. Look at this. Good finish, actually, as well. Brilliant goal from him. So, Xhaka, the guy I've got on loan from Atletico Madrid, has scored two goals in the FA Cup, and Perez has got one. Not sure who's going to be the better player. Time will tell. We then managed to produce a really good perform defensive performance to prevent Chelsea from beating us. 0-0 draw. They had 27 shots to our 5. They weren't great finishing, to be honest. They had a, a lot of chances, and they really should have won. But Johansson put in some good, brilliant saves. We put in some good defensive performances at the back as well. But it's frustrating because we've... I say that word about 10 times in an episode. Frustrating, but it's true. We've drawn four Premier League games in a row. Spurs, Man City, Blackburn and Chelsea. We need to pick up points if we've got any chance of even getting a European place at all this season because we're now in 7th place, 51 points, 1 point behind 6th place Fulham, 5th place guarantees a Euro European place, it would be the Euro Cup of course, uh, but we are 9 points off the 4th place Champions League place who are Chelsea. I think we're out of the Champions League running for this year, which is a shame. It really is a shame. Last year, we finished third, 81 points. I know this was five years ago when I played this season, and I've made excuses saying that, you know, I'm not used to the save yet, or back into the swing of things with the save yet. But that's not really a good enough excuse in my eyes. We were really good last season. Five defeats, nine draws, 24 wins. This season, tw 13 wins, 12 draws. We've, we've, got, we've lost the same number of games, so if we can go unbeaten to the rest, for the rest of the season, we've would have kept that record alive, only five defeats in the season, but those draws are really letting us down. Anyway, let's get on with today's game. This is the team I'm going with. There's a few changes. Line is back from injury, fortunately. I've put Xhaka up front instead of Garrett, who had a really poor game against Aston Villa, which is why Perez came off the bench to, to score that goal. Oh no, Garrett, no, wait, I'm going, that's wrong. Garrett played against Chelsea and had a terrible game. Mainly because he didn't have any service. But I'm sticking with Xhaka up front, or put him up, put, putting him up front for this. Uh, I really can't talk today. I'm, my brain is not keeping up with my mouth, or my mouth isn't keeping up with my brain. I don't know what's going on. Let's get on with this game. Let's, let's end this now. We're playing CSK in Moscow. We've got Blackburn in the FA Cup in between as well. I'll just play that behind the scenes and show you the score. But... Today, massive day. Let's try and go one better than last season. We went out at this stage against Inter Milan last season. Let's improve upon that. Absolutely chucking it down down outside at the moment. So hopefully you can't hear the rain in the background. As, oh, great save by their keeper, Raphael, to keep that out. It hasn't rained for ages. And today it is just bucketing it down. We've, we've needed rain. In the true British style, I'm just going to say, we need some rain. The, the soil was a bit dry outside. You know, the garden is it's very dry. Grass is going yellow. We needed some rain. Oh, look at that from Ammon, absolutely blasted it. Still yet to score for the club. Throwing in a dangerous position. We're doing well here. We just have to, we have to try and keep a clean sheet at home because an away goal for them could prove dangerous. We really should be winning because we're at home. So let's hope 
we uh, can put in a good performance. We've had a good start to this game, but failed to score so far. Good tackle by Amman there, but they're still on the ball. Get in there, guys. Win it back. Here comes... That's an awful finish. But I'm not moaning. Here we go again. Cancelo, which has been pretty poor lately. Here's Xhaka. It was blocked. Here you go, CSK Moscow. On the charge. That's a good ball. Great save. Well done, Johansson. I can't wait for Veerman to be back. Although we've not needed him. We've kept five clean sheets in a row. We've been incredibly solid. We're not losing games. So our defence isn't a problem. It's really trying to score goals. Since Bindiwold has left, it's been a little bit of a struggle. It's been a bit of a struggle even with Bindiwold here. He was the only player to score for me, really. Even changing the... I changed the tactic. We beat Newcastle 5-0. And I thought, ah, oh, brilliant. Happy days. It's... I've solved the problem, but since those first two games with this new tactic, it's just, it's turned into another solid one with not much going on, which is a bit frustrating. Oh, I said it again. I need a frustrating counter, don't I, in the corner? How many times do I say that bloody word? And, oh, it's over the bar. That was close. I say the word frustrating a lot. Fortunately a lot, or unfortunately a lot. Yeah, I've noticed when I've been editing my videos, I'm like, I have to edit that one out. There, there's another one. I can't have more than five in an episode. Otherwise, it's stupid. <laughs> Line does well there, but he's headed it into danger. Johansson had that covered easily. They've had more shots than us. They've come into the game well and playing better, but maybe this is an opportunity for us. Bruce on out wide to Line. Into Kuka. Nice play. Line, can he put a ball in? There he goes. <laughs> it's got to Grot for luckily. Almost said fortunately there. Here's Kuka. This is nice play. Ah. Oh. Losing the ball, it's just, we're, the final third just lets us down some reason. Connolly's is easily going to be beaten for pace, and that's an away goal for Moscow. Don't, I don't want to go out at this stage again this season. I can't be bothered. I want us to do well in the cup competitions. Oh, what an effort from Cancelo, which is another good save by Raphael. And it's a corner, which Kuka's taken. Crossed in, Aquino can't get his head on it. Aman, nah, bloody hell, we can't cross to save our lives. Never goes into a dangerous position. Connolly's on a 5.8. Line is pretty dead because he's only just come back from injury. I'm expecting much better. Connolly, I can't, I have to keep him on. Line's going to come off. What am I doing? Line's going to come off as Spence. And I've realised Spence is left-footed on this game. I swear he was right-footed. I think on FM12 he was right-footed and on FM11 he's left-footed. So I'm playing a left footer at right back. He can play there, but he's done brilliantly there, to be honest. Let's change the tactics. We're going to push the defence up. We're going to go quick, fluid. Let's add some something else to our game. We need to improve. We need to get a couple goals. We need to win this game now that we've conceded an away goal. Here we are. Grot into Cunningham. Into Busson. Nice play. Going all the way, blasting it wide. Corner. Kuka. Near post. A queen. It just hits him. Head it in. Why have you just let it hit you on the arm? Here's Kuka. Spence over the bar. <laughs> Why? Why can't I win a stupid game? I just... Everything's a draw. Kuka crosses it in. Ah. Uh, what penalty? Oh, please. Stick this in the back of the net. Whoever's taking it. Please. We missed the penalty actually recently. It was uh, Rados. He's got like 17 or 18 on penalties and he missed it. Kancelovic. Come on, my son. Please, my friend. Goal. Beautiful penalty. Bottom left hand corner. 1 1. Now let's push on from here and win the game. We've been the better team in the second half. Oh, good tackle there by Cunningham. Now, Xhaka, what can he do? I might bring Garreau on in a bit. Add some pace up front. Oh, look at him go. He went quite far and then played all the way back to Bruson, but sensible play, I guess, keeping hold of possession. Here's Aman, Spence, back to Bruson. Kuka, what's he going to do? Aman, keeping hold of the ball. This is nice. Nice play, and Aman slams it over the bar. I'm going to bring Garur on for Xhaka up front. Let's throw on some pace and punish their defence. Here we are again, keeping hold of the ball nicely. Kuka, into Aman. Into Garur, but he's tackled and now they can counter. Get back, guys. Win the ball back. Pressurise them. Hassle them. Let's hassle. Hassle opponents. And that's wide. This could be a disaster. Oh, what a save by Johansson. He just, I think he got his wrong arm to it. Like the, the arm you wouldn't expect him to get to it. It was a fantastic stop. Great head away by Amma. Now, Garur, run with your pace. Come on, my French maestro. 
It's, oh, lovely. He skips inside. He's, oh, it's blocked. It's blocked. Yeah, he did brilliantly up to that point. He's really not that much worse than Binderwald on paper. He can do it for me. I know he can be my main man. Aquino, that was a chant. Heads over the bar. Oh, okay, last, last sub. Can't take Cunningham off because I don't actually have anyone to go there. I'm going to take off Kuka. I'm going to bring on Alon Rados. He, we might get a free kick in a dangerous position and he's the perfect man to come on and take it. He's not been as predominant since I've taken away the attacking midfielder from this tactic. Or the two attacking midfielders in fact, as it was a Christmas tree formation. So he's only really playing when he comes on in central midfield. He prefers attacking midfield. Let's see what he can do though. Rados with the corner. Near post. Aquino off the line. Still attacking. Still aiming for a second goal to take a victory to Moscow. Here's Kancelaric, crossing it in, Grot, that was a chance, oh Grot, that was Grotty, to the extreme. Rados, there's still a chance here, but it, Spence ball in was dangerous, but there was no one in the right place. Cunningham, and that's easily caught by Raphael. Oh no, here, go, here goes Bakambu again, who's dangerous, it's a good stop by Johansson again. L luckily it was perfect height for him to save it. And with two minutes of injury time left, can we counter and get a winner? Rados plays it through. Grot! Oh, what a save. Maybe he should have taken another touch considering he was past the last defender. But he maybe didn't know that. And uh, Oh, free kick. Rados. Come on, Rados. Please. With 30 seconds to go, curl this in. What? <laughs> oh, it was a really strange one because it, it looked really pathetic. Then I realised it's only just gone wide of the post. So he was trying to sort of just almost pass it in. It was a really odd free kick. And I, I was actually closer to the goal than I thought it would be originally. Because it just like a little dinky, pathetic thing. Anyway, I'm going to sympathise with the team. Because we were much better in the second half. 20 shots to their 13, 57% possession. We deserved to win it in the end. After a bit of a shaky first half, their goalkeeper was man of the match. And... Oh, unlucky. Let's hope we can win away from home. We need to get a goal at least. Guess what? We drew against Black Van Rovers in the FA Cup. They took the lead with Ben Khalifa and then Pablo Piatti equalised in the 26th minute. But another bloody draw. Oh, I'm fed up of them. It just is ridiculous. Look at all the last few games. However, we, do have, we are in the semi-final draw, so let's see who we will face if we get through against Black Van. Man United, of course, the team that are just impossible to beat, I find. I want to get through. I want to win a cup. And we've, we're only in the Euro Cup now and the FA Cup. That's the only things we can win this season. I'd like to win at least one of them, if not both. So I think this is the team I'm going to go with. In fact, I've decided already. This is the team I'm going to go with. Johansson in goal, Lyon, Connolly, Aquino. Vierman's still out injured. Cunningham left back. Brusson, Kuka and Aman in central midfield. Fleck is the only change from the last game. We're playing Fleck on the right. Kancelovic on the left. Garrier on up front by himself. But I'm changing the tactic. We're going attacking. It has to be done. We just have to do this. We have to go for it. Let's turn the tempo up a little bit. Wish me luck. The moment of truth. Can we get through to the quarterfinal of the Euro Cup? They're playing a 3-5-2 formation. But Kambu looked dangerous in the last game. So I will, I'm going to close him down as well as man marking him. Let's do it for the fans. I'm not sure if it's the right team to say that team talk for, but we are doing it for the fans. Let's get through to the quarter final and it would be you know, an incredible achievement for the team. I know we were in the Champions League and we dropped out, but still to get through to the quarter final of the Euro Cup is something special for Chumpswood City. One of the best achievements for the club. Other than finishing third in the league, I think getting through to the quarter final would be our best achievement. Yeah, we did get through to the final of the League Cup last year. Unfortunately, we did lose. Maybe in a final of the FA Cup this year. That would be nice. Fleck is going to do the thing where he's going to have a 500 shots a game again, isn't he? So I'm going to make sure he doesn't do that already. We're going to put long shots down to zero, and I will get him to cross to put through balls into the box often because he's carcassing in from the left put a through ball through to Gara use the pace don't have a shot please we need to get a goal today don't just fire off 500 shots in the hope that one's going to go in and is Cancelovic going to do the same from that left I don't know I hope not in fact let's let's make sure he doesn't do it as well we do not want a load of long shots going in because they're not working we're not scoring long shots so there's no point even trying 
Moscow with the corner, headed away. We need an away goal, remember. If it's 0-0, they go through. So we're desperate for a goal, which is why I've gone attacking from the start. Corner to us. Kuka crosses in. Aquino! Oh, how did that not go in? The keeper somehow dives to the side and stops it on the line. And Kancelaric is injured. Brilliant. Going to bring Vincent Grot on. Now, Grot's actually going to play on the right-hand side. Fleck's going to play on the left, but he's going to play as an advanced playmaker on the left. Decided that. Throwing in a dangerous position. Grot. Why can't we cross? Well, the crosses just hit the first man every single time. I don't understand. Here's Aman. Brusson. Line. Into Kuk. Come on. Lovely ball through to Grot. Grot. Corner. See, look, that cross as well. He puts it cross face goal, hits the first defender. Everything always hits the first defender. That time it did as well. Kuka into Grot. Come on. It's behind everyone, that one. And at half time, it's going to be a nil nil, surely. Two minutes of injury time to go. Here go Moscow. And that's wide. Thought that was going to curl in then. There are a lot of curly shots on FM11. I think it was sort of a just after a point where all these special World Cup balls were being produced where they would curl ridiculous amounts. So I guess it was a little bit realistic at that point, six, six years ago, when the game was made, of course. I expect much more from them in the second half. We need to push on. We need to score. Let's go fluid. Creative freedom. More expressive. Get Gara to run onto the ball. We'll use Kuka as our primary playmaker in the middle there. Please, guys, score for me on the pitch. I don't care about your love life. Score on the pitch. Here's Fleck. Into Gavrier. Into Fleck. Ah, oh, man, nice play. We're great at passing it around. Look, look at Grot's, Grot's step overs are just hilarious. And oh, it's another corner. And this time Kuka will take it into the near post. As I have instructed him to, I might change it up. Let's go for something different with the with the corners. Let's go let's go penalty area. Let's chuck them in. Oh, it's a it's a free kick to Moscow here. Can we win it back and break? Nope. Bukambu offside, fortunate. Oh, Rasinov, handball actually. Just over half an hour to go. Cunningham. Into Fleck. Fleck. Ah, tackled. Win it back, guys. Charge after them. Work great. Do it for the fans. Do it for the fans, guys. It was a great save by Johansson there. His line on the ball lumps it long to Fleck. He's surely not going to get that. Oh, we've won a throw in. Probably the end of the highlight. Corner to Moscow. Whipped across. <laughs> We're not out of this. That goal doesn't mean much because it has, we need the away goal anyway. We score the away goal. We're level on the tie. Just go to extra time rather than going through. That is oh, that's annoying though. It's a corner. Why can't we do that? Another corner to Moscow. If they do score another goal, then it's wide. Then it will be a bit tricky. Although uh, we, we just we need we need a goal. Just do something for me, guys, please. Our man's gonna come off. He's done literally nothing. Rados is coming on. We're we're going pretty attacking here. In fact, I'm going to change the formation. Rados is going into the attacking midfielder role. What's he best as, do you think? Let's try and play him as Trequartista. A bit different. Or advanced, play, advanced playmaker because of his dribbling ability. There we go. Come on, please, Rados. Do something for me. Corner. Kuka. All the way. Well, it's an interesting ball. Uh, Garua. Back to Kuka. Back to Garua. Hit it. He hit it. He took too many touches. The defence were able to get out, and that's just wide from him then. Why can't we score goals? Bindiwold, come back to me. I need the ghost of Bindiwold. Please, turn up. <laughs> Insert yourself into Garua. Sounds wrong, but I don't care. I need a goal. I don't want this season to end now, because if, if we go out here, we're likely to lose against either Blackburn or... Oh, it's two. It was too much. It was just too much. I remember this. This save was frustrating. I've said it again. How many times is that today? Probably three or four times. But it is. It was, it was uh, annoying. <laughs> For many, many, many seasons. The last couple seasons, not so. I mean, I lost the Capital One Cup last season, so that was a little bit annoying. But when I got stuck in the Championship, that was annoying and hard work. What do I do? I'm taking off Garra. I'm bringing on Xhaka. We're going to go. There's not much else I can do. 
I don't want to go overload because we will... Overload really didn't work on this game. I've gone overload a couple times on this and it's not worked. I'm just praying for a miracle. 15 minutes to go. If we can get a goal, then we're actually in a very good position because two away goals will put us through. If they score though, I mean, it's surely all over. And here they go with Zabalios. And, oh, it deflected onto the post. And they've won another corner. They've been lethal on the counter-attack in this second half, knowing we have to push forwards and score. I don't know what to, I might just have to completely rethink the tactics because it's just it's too solid not today but it has been too solid we're drawing every single game possible Connolly's not been great he's had another bad game I need Veerman back actually I know we've been keeping clean sheets but Connolly hasn't been brilliant and here goes Bakambu again on the counter as we're pushing forwards and it's well wide and over and to be honest I'm gonna have to go overload now and we're gonna pump the ball into the box get stuck in, hassle opponents, just everything possible. Corner, is there hope? Why is he putting it all the way back to the edge of the area? I said penalty box. Is that what it means, penalty box? Ed edge of the area. Great, I didn't realise. I thought I just meant put it onto like into the penalty box, but uh, it must mean edge of the area, which is why it's not really working. And now they're going to make it three. Oh, it's just over the bar. Let's let's quickly change that then. So we want it. And I put penalty area, not bloody edge of the area. Six yard box. There we go. Let's get it into the danger area if we can win a corner. But I think we're out of Europe. We flopped in the Champions League. We were close, but not close enough in the Champions League. So I mean, at one point we were qualifying, and then we've dropped down into the Europa League. But CSK Moscow, they're often in the Champions League, especially on FM11. They're a very strong outfit. And they've just been too much for us, out across the two legs. We were better in the second half of the first leg, but we couldn't get another goal to take a lead here. And it's resulted in them being able to counter-attack against us at home. And it's just been too much, and we're out of Europe. There we go, final whistle. It's official. I'm going to say I'm disappointed, because I am. We just There just wasn't enough to us, up front especially. And we are out for the second time, second season in a row at the second knockout stage. This was a winnable tournament looking at the teams there. Well, probably not actually, Arsenal just beat Tottenham to get through and Arsenal have been brilliant this season. Liverpool, Besiktas, always a bit tough. I think Arsenal will probably go on and win it. Earn some money from Europe this year, so hopefully we'll have a bit more money to spend next year as well, which would be nice. Although we won't have Champions League football. Now we need to focus on actually qualifying for the Euro Cup again next year, because we're in seventh place, which certainly isn't a guarantee. So that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button to cheer me up, because once again, we haven't won today. Two draws, two 1-1 one -one draws, and then a defeat. I need to beat Blackburn in the FA Cup. Next episode, it might be the FA Cup semi-final if we can get through against Blackburn. If not, I don't know. It might just be the end of the season. But thanks for watching today's episode. Hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in episode 9.